Hey, Sean, I run through all the time and I just can't do it. My confidence is crap. What do I do? I just can't do it. Hajime! Welcome back to the Pole Vault Vlog. We talk about all things Pole Vault. Three questions, three videos. Let's do it. Drake Blackburn asks... My main question is, how does the simple things like drills make you a better pole vaulter? Good question. Drills don't make you a better pole vaulter. Drills are like a tool to help you be a better pole vaulter. Let's use inversion, for example. Let's say a kid doesn't know how to be, what it feels like to be inverted. So you do a drill where you're inverted and your body's like... Oh, you're, you're creating these neurological adaptions between your brain and your body that's like, oh, this is what it feels like to be inverted. And you do that drill and then you put it back into the equation of the whole pole vault system. And then hopefully that drill you did works within that new system to say, hey, that's what it feels like to be inverted and it comes a little bit more naturally. There's a whole lot of research on learning like a whole part, whole type of system. Like you learn the whole thing and then you learn parts of it again, you break it down and then you learn the whole thing again. There's a way, there's a lot of ways to do this, but um, the only way to be a really good athlete or really good at anything is to do the thing you're doing. You can do a million drills, but if you don't vault, it doesn't matter how many drills you do. So the event is more important than the drills. Hope that answered your question. Hey Sean, I'm going on a cruise and I don't necessarily know what I can do. I can't pull vault. There's no pull vault pit on the cruise. I don't know how long your cruise is, but I'm sure the cruise has stairs, like a swimming pool. I'm just some empty space where you can jump around and do some circuits. Or I'm going to do some plyometrics and some circuits on the side of the pools. Or I'm just going to run up the stairs a few times, jump up the stairs, do some plyos on the stairs. There's a lot of ways to train. And just because you're on a cruise doesn't mean you have to get away from training completely. Just be really creative. All right, now let's talk about the question I seem to get more than anyone else. And coaches who are always like, my kid's running through, the settings are correct. I just don't know why he's running through all the time. And then I get kids who are like, I'm trying so hard. I just don't know why I run through right the last second. What's wrong with me? In my opinion, this usually comes from two things. Problem one is that you're progressing too fast. Problem two, usually there's like an injury or some event like a pole bro broke or you got rejected and landed back on the runway, which is usually another result of progressing too fast. So in the vault, I like to think there's like three things you can change. You can have a longer, shorter run, bigger, smaller pole, you can grip higher and you can grip lower. Those are like the three big things you can change. Most of the time when you do one of those things too fast, all that other crap goes out the window and your confidence is shot. Imagine like it's like a kid who has been riding a bike, they learn how to ride a bike, and then you throw this kid or this lady or this dude on like a motorcycle. <laughs> And all of a sudden the motorcycle flies into a fence and it breaks. It's because they progressed too fast. It's like you gave way too much power for what they were ready for. And then that person's never gonna ride a motorcycle again. And that's kind of what happens in the pole vault. So most people are are like, they have them gripping really low, they're on a really small pole, it's still not working, and then they still run through. And that just destroys your confidence even more. Well, maybe that's not the right setting. Maybe the setting was their run was too fast, and that was the thing, so you need to shorten that up. So I always say when you do this, you have to go find what works. Even if it's gripping at like nine feet from one left on like a 90 pound pole, <laughs> you know, something really small. As long as they're like progressing, as long as they're getting in the air and landing in the pit again, that's all you want. And then from there you tweak one very small tweak to one of the things. We're going to grip up one finger higher. And if they do it for 10 in a row, great. Then we go another finger or you go back one step or you go up one pull and eventually you take those little bitty progression steps back to when it works again. And that's how I've always broken the yips for myself and other people. But again, you need to change the run, the pull, and the grip. And you need to find the one that works. And if the one you go to doesn't work, you need to do something else. I've had some kids where I had to take the pole out of their hands completely and just run and jump into the pit. That was step one. And they were like, this is ridiculous. I'm like, but you did it. Now let's put a pencil in your hand and run through. You just progress. Slow progression is better than fast progression. What's worked for you guys? I know that's just my way. Um, there's a lot of coaches who watch these. What's helped for you and your yips? They call it yips and your kids are running through. Caroline's always told me speed's the enemy of technique. 
but so is a high grip and <laughs> pole that's too big for their brain. All right, let's review some videos. All right, I was told this is a first year pole vaulter. She's only been vaulting a year. Holy crap. Are you kidding me? This is a first year pole vaulting? All right, well, this is the future of pole vault right there. <laughs> yeah, so I know Gwen's gonna get sick of hearing the same thing over and over again, but I want that arm to be in front of her head just a little bit at one o'clock and straight because the pole's bending and the arm's bent and then we're just getting rocked. And she's so strong and fast that she's getting away with it. But if we can, if we can, little tweaks in the pole vault make the biggest difference. So give that a shot. One o'clock and in front of your head a little bit. Other, you're a freak though. Like <laughs> no one jumps like that the first year. I'm gonna dream about this jump and have nightmares that it's way better than mine. <laughs> All right, good job. All right, this is from Alex. Nice, dude. Holy crap, that looks so good. So kind of the same thing I was uh, talking about in the last video. I want you, arms locked, I love that. I just want you to lean forward a little bit more. Maybe it's the angle, but it just looks kind of funky. So lean forward. Throw those arms up and forward, and then just, I think you can grip up a little higher. Like, that pole just looks like toast, man. Yeah, holy crap, really good. Lean forward, knock the bungee down with your hands. All right, this is Thomas, let's take a peek here. Nice. Oh man, you, that is, okay, this is so good. I'm gonna change your jump instantly. You ready for this? Next time you go, look at this, look at this takeoff. Both hands high above your head. Everyone's trying to do this. Like that is a dream for everybody. So when you get there, instead of yanking this arm in, keep pushing both arms up and forward. So you had the perfect position that everyone's trying to get and then we just pull it in. So then it's kind of like, I always tell people if you're gonna do a push-up, is it easier to do a push-up with one hand or two hands? So you're doing a push-up with one hand here. So push both hands up and forward while you do that swing. And dude, you better send me another video because your jump's gonna feel a million times better. <laughs> so good. That's not a problem I see very often. It's kind of like a unicorn, so. I know they exist, and this will be awesome. All right, that's it for the pole vault vlog. Um, just a couple little housekeeping. Th what is my hair doing? Let's push that. After the first vlog in the new year, I'm gonna try and move all the pole vault stuff over to a new YouTube channel. I'll call it um, Team Hoot Pole Vault. And that will be where I put all the pole vault stuff. And I'm gonna use the Sean Francis vlog as what it's named after, as the Sean Francis vlog. All the old U or pole vault vlogs will stay here, but I will put playlists on the other one, so everything will be over on that side. But I'm gonna make that transition just so I can keep things a little separate. And uh, we'll see how that goes. If it works great, cool. If not, I'll just put everything back on the one channel. Thanks everyone who sent videos. That's about it for this week. Um, life's meant to be experienced and curiosity will get you there. See you next week, pole vault peeps.